You've heard me talk about batching in the past, and I love my batch and slay process, but today I am going to reveal my favorite batching secrets that you need to try right now. Episode 187 starts right now. Welcome to the Laura Shipman Show minicast, a special edition of my podcast where it's just you, me, my mic, your earphones, plus quick tips and hacks you can implement immediately to improve your life and your business. Are you ready to get started? I know I am. Let's dive in. Well, hey, everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm so glad you are here and you're here on my favorite day. And that day is Minicast Day. And if you've never experienced a Minicast, you are in for a real treat. Today's the day where you jump in, you grab all sorts of information, you jump out, but then you got a job to do. You have to execute on what you learned here today. And today we're talking about batching. Yes, you guys know my batch and slay process, but today I want to share with you some secrets to really making sure batching works for you and your business. It can be a total game changer when you embrace the batching lifestyle. The idea is when you batch to create a bunch of content or to do a bunch of processes up front in one sitting so that you have a little bit more free time later on. And the concept sounds amazing, but if you have never been able to get yourself to do it, I'm going to share with you my secrets that help me make sure I batch on a regular basis so that I'm not frazzled running around trying to create content. So the first thing that you want to do is plan for it. Yeah, that's very obvious, but a lot of times We don't do that. So I literally take my calendar and I look to see what's going on in the month and then I pick a day. And that day may be batching for podcasts or batching for YouTube or batching content for my clients. Whatever it is, I pick a day and then I turn my calendar off, meaning that nobody can schedule an appointment with me on that day because I am going to be clearly focused on completing a bunch of whatever it is for that period of time. So step number one is to plan for it. Step number two is to know your rhythm. When are you the most alert and the most creative to be able to tackle this big chunk of work that you're going to do in this concentrated amount of time? That time is going to be completely different for everybody. Some people are early birds and they love the mornings and they'll get up at 5 a.m. and they'll crush it until about 11. And then there's the people who don't come alive until later on in the day. And I'm raising my hand. That is your girl. I am not a morning person. I never have been. And I'm willing to bet you I never will be. So my crush it time is anytime after 1130. And if you want to schedule a meeting with me, I will always say I'm available after 1130 because that's when I know it's go time for me. And the same thing happens for when I batch create content. I know I'm the most alert and most creative later on in the day instead of the very beginning. Okay. The next thing that's essential for creating a really good batching session is to make sure you have a running list of concepts and ideas. I don't know about you, but I get ideas at all times of the day, sometimes in the shower, sometimes late at night. And I need to have somewhere where I can catalog and keep those ideas so I don't lose them. And Trello is what I use to keep all of those thoughts organized. And I love the phone app version of Trello because the majority of the time I'll get an idea and I won't even be sitting at my desk and I'll need to jot it down somewhere. I used to be the queen of sticky notes and I would have them everywhere and I'd have notebooks filled of information, but it was really impossible for me to go back and decipher my notes, number one, because I usually wrote them on the fly. And then to find them, it was really hard to keep them organized in a notebook. Trello is amazing because I can keep them organized on these boards and they have little check marks that I can check things off. And it just, I love Trello and that's, I guess, a podcast for a different day, but whatever system works for you to keep a running list of concepts and ideas organized, 
that is what you need to do and what you need to use. Okay, tip number four is working with themes and series. I love this. And if you've been listening to me for long, you know I talk about themes and series all the time. Because here's the thing, if you can focus on one concept or idea and break that out into little pieces, you'll have content for days. So think about how you can do that for your business. Can you talk about a certain theme for a couple of days or a couple of weeks and keep it interesting? I would embrace that if you can. Secret number five is make batching easy on yourself. Do a little bit of pre-work and create as many templates as you possibly can. It will make the whole batching process so much easier on yourself. So it's all about working smarter, not harder. Okay, the next secret, and I love this one, is assign days for certain types of batches. So for example, if I'm going to batch podcasts, I reserve Fridays for podcast recordings because my weeks tend to slow down toward the end of the week and that way I'm not so hurried or hectic and I can really spend time with guests if I'm interviewing a guest on the show or I can take the time to develop a really good show for you when I get my mind all geared up and ready to tackle podcasts on a Friday. So figure out what works best for you when you're going to go ahead and batch a certain portion of your business. Once I have my day assigned, the next thing I like to do is work in sprints. So I'll set a timer for myself and that timer is usually 40 minutes long and I will work really hard undistracted for 40 minutes. And then when that timer goes off, I will take a 10 minute break, get up away from my desk, move around, play with the dogs, whatever it is, before I go back to another focus session of creating content. I find when I know I'm going to be focused on something for just a short period of time, the task isn't so daunting and actually it goes by a lot faster. And sometimes I play a little game and I try and beat the clock, but I want to beat that clock accurately. I don't want to make a bunch of mistakes along the way just because I'm rushing to beat the clock. It's just a fun way to keep me focused and on task with whatever it is I'm batching. And then finally, my last secret is to reward yourself. You were so disciplined to get all the work done. It's time to go and celebrate. So whatever that celebration looks like for you, go ahead and do it. Maybe it's a little bit of Netflix. Maybe it's a dance party. Maybe it's a cup of coffee, or maybe it's a little wine. Who knows? Whatever that celebration looks like for you, go ahead and reward yourself. You did a good job. You got all the ish done and you were really productive. So you deserve it. Okay, my friends. Well, that does it for this mini cast. You know what to do now, right? Execute what you learned here today. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay social. Hey, before you go, I have a question for you. Are you loving the show? Let me know about it. Take a screenshot of the episode you are listening to and drop it in your social media posts or stories, or better yet, give this show a review on iTunes or your favorite podcast app, letting me know that you listened in. If you have a topic or show idea, please don't be shy. I want to hear from you. Send me an email or a DM. I would love to hear your suggestions. All the links are in the show notes. Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you as always for tuning into the show today and every day you listen in.